Like, it's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. It has. And when I read a message like that, I'm sorry that I'm tearing up like a baby. But when I read a message like that, it makes me feel like it was worth it. You know, like, all the shit that happened to me and all the stress and the, the mental shit that I go through on a daily basis, sometimes. Did I get copyright claims for DSP versus the internet? Yes, I did. Well, first of all, here's the real problem, all right? Whenever you make React content, and this is not an exaggeration at all, the vast majority of shit that I upload to DSP Reacts gets auto-flagged for ad suitability. If you don't know what that means, it means that something in YouTube's auto-algorithm detects something in the video that they think is not proper for monetization, and it, it immediately says you'll get no ads on this video. Then what you need to do is you need to submit the video to be manually reviewed by someone at YouTube. And if they watch it and say, oh, it's fine, then they'll click, okay, enable ads. Okay? So when I first started uploading DSP versus the internet from this week, four out of the six videos were ad suitability and one got copyright claim. So five out of the six videos I was going to make no money on. So then what I did is I set them up to go live the first day and then one in each additional day. I immediately submitted them all for review. And within two days, so by, what was that, Sunday? No, yesterday. All of them had been approved for ad suitability except for the one that got the copyright claim. So one of the videos, everyone watched on day one and I got nothing for it. But now ads are on it, so if anyone watches it afterwards, I will get credit for it, okay? The other videos, luckily for me, they did get ads in time. So basically this week was a lucky week. Previous weeks, there have been videos that like sat there for the whole week, not eligible for ads. And usually more than one video gets copyright claimed. I feel like I kind of got lucked out this week where only one got copyright claimed and the rest are, are monetizable, okay? Thing is, you gotta understand something. These videos don't get a lot of views. Take a look at the videos on TSP Reacts that most are getting a thousand views per video. That's nothing, that's pennies. So it adds up. Maybe I make a couple dollars a day on the channel. Okay, add it up. A couple dollars a day per 30 days. So I don't even make $100 a month on ads on the channel. Do you see what I'm saying about the profitability of that channel comes from the memberships and comes from the live streams. It doesn't come from ad revenue. It won't until I get so much content on that channel. There's a body of content that people will now constantly watch, right? And rewatch because they like it. Um, and until I get more consistent viewership, that ads will never be a concern for that channel. And I knew that would be the case. You got to understand, the reason that DSP Gaming has profitability with ads is because this channel's been around since 2010, has over 60,000 gameplay videos on it, and on any given day, people are watching various videos all over the channel, and I'm making money on all of that. That's different than a channel that has been defunct for over a year, has a bunch of vlogs on it no one cares about from the past, and gets no views outside of the new content. And each video gets maybe a thousand views if that, you know? So it's not that big of a deal. It's again, it's more about become a member, become an interactive part of that channel and support it in that way. And yeah, on those streams, by all means, if you can contribute during those live streams that I do, that's gonna help a ton too, okay? Okay. All right. So guys, thank you. I think we're going to do shout outs now.